Yeah. Look, man, I'm I'm just gonna start off uh, this way, and don't 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 take it don't take it the wrong way because I I have a lot of people hitting me up in the background that want to come on and and share their stories with controversial company Super Eagle, man. But my my question is this, yeah. bro. We 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 spoke in the background, and the only thing that that kind of like got my ear, and I'm gonna be honest with you, is that you said you got physical screenshots of them all making the laws and i guess a lot of people talk about it a lot of people say that they do but there's no nothing out there to actually show it i got one video of a driver talking to somebody but i don't think it was with controversial company super ego i think it was a different black ops company that he was driving and he was actually actually on live when they called him up and they kind of asked him if he wants his laws reset. So we we have a lot of drivers that 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 put that claim out there. And I always say allegedly that controversial company Super Eagle all make the laws. So you also said in the background as well that you did your research, or your background and everything. I came back and asked you. So if you did all of that. You only went there for the lawsuit or just to be on the bandwagon with the lawsuit? What's what's up, man? Oh, right. I was given 10 points to be on 20. Then I started digging around. First, it was the power of the videos on YouTube. And I said, oh, wow, they got a nice job on those. I wasn't even aware that this went in. Some more people that were in building step free the military attacks to them. People over there and was given the information that we have to run any school or any rest and things like that. I got interested in government building things like that. This dog making a claim against them. I was too many of the work. But when I now we just stop. So you honestly saying that you did not know about Contra Company Super Eagle until after. Like you, oh. when, when I, I don't know I, what they reached out to you or you reached out to them. How how did you came across to uh, come on board with? I reached out to them. They were on by the way. Yeah, I mm. know Super Eagle was texting on paper flight to get out. Yeah, I paid flight ticket to go out to when they get down to take Uber. And got the Super Eagle plastic on with the Super Eagle plastic on the different company, man. On each day. And I went into Orient because I knew something was on. As soon as I entered in those doors, First Lady of Russia, then was introduced to the Tasman people. They was Russian. Young guys, older guys, everybody on the even like some mafia movie. So I didn't say nothing. I stuck around. You got people in the background waiting there. Explaining. I've been here two weeks. I ain't think nothing of it. I had to night out there in Chicago. Two. Tonight, mm-hmm. I paid for my hotel room because I wasn't with them. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that they were taking advantage of the homeless and Hispanic drivers on that staff program. Mm-hmm. And they were using the bridges so they need to play clean, so to speak. I did my mm-hmm. own. That's what's going on out there, what I know. Okay, so one of their uh, LLCs, one of their shell companies, uh, was AAM Hot Shots. Yeah, great. So when you look, yeah, I was working. So when you looked that up, None of the Super Eagle stampings was on the flyer or any of the information of what you was reading. And you come to find yeah. out that it was affiliated with Super Eagle when you got out there. So sort of like sort of like a bait and switch type deal. Huh? Yeah, thanks for the word. Do you, I'm beginning to see a lot of this oh, because I got a partner that oh, that works closely with a controversial company, Super Eagle. And he kind of like let me know some of the stuff in the background. Like he just recently reached out to me and told me that controversial company Super Eagle has a couple of other names uh, that hasn't yes, been that hasn't been out on the road yet. As a matter of fact, two of the trucks that he showed me in the video are 2025s. They're up under a different LLC, up under a different name. So this is how yes. controversial company Super Eagle is getting away by getting you guys with them. By not just talking about them directly, but talking about themselves indirectly with a new company. That's what I want to do. Top piece of super ego. As that's the most, they finally got around. They have admitted to them and spoke to someone over there. I'm not going to mention her name. 
forward my information to her, and she was like, yeah, I heard of this company before I hear, and they keep using different names with different LLCs. I said, yeah, yeah, they got a bunch of companies now. They're using the Super Eagle holding LLC mobile no more. They getting a bait and switch company, throwing an NC and a DOT number on it, and slap it on the side of your truck. But in the meanwhile, behind a high side, you're really pulling for Super Eagle holding, which is doing the same tactic. That's super ego holding, mm-hmm. but using a different company name. He rocked out with him uh, for a month. Let's let's just say that you you got there with him May fourteenth. You dropped off from him around June twentieth. So you rocked out with him for a month. Can you tell us about how it was for the first couple of weeks and why why only a month? that you decide to to leave? Oh, yeah, because of the thing. I was saying, so why I'm still in the negative? And I was no pattern, we were 2,200 or 2,500. Oh, they only paying 2,500, 2,200. Nothing over three to four grand, because I'm all over the road. I like the West. I'm saying the pattern with the price. Put that to the side, and then I forward them. And then when I got that first pay, that $300 million. Mm-hmm. Like, that man was going like, hey, listen, I can't be working for this. But work through McDonald's house, make over a thousand dollars. Who do you think I'm gonna be over the road making this type of money? I can't. Oh no, no, you're gonna make a lot of money. You're gonna make a lot of money. So I'm already out there in the world, so I can just scan these stuff. Mm-hmm. So still working, you're throwing the balance up there after the growth, cutting it down, and for the truck payment, my truck payment was just so I came in wanting everything to break. Two, two, two fifty, bro. Two fifty. Two hundred and fifty dollars for for a tractor trailer, man. How long you expect to own that truck, bro? At two hundred and fifty dollars a week. I came in there with the intention not to own the spirit. I needed to get back in the game, mega carry, because I like being independent all the way into 2025 where I could go purchase me a truck when the price hopefully go down. Oh, okay. So coming in there to use and to get my money and go my way. Okay, so, okay. I see you. I see your plan. Yeah. I, I see your plan now. Okay, because I'm <laughs> I'm sitting here listening like how this man is, is inspecting the owning the truck for two hundred and fifty dollars a week, mm-hmm. bro. And that yes, what indeed. what kind of truck is it? Like what, what was it? A eighteen? It was a, um, seventeen? It was a twenty no, it was a twenty twenty international okay. um uh, sleeper. A one yeah. I liked it, the truck though. I had to go recover that truck in Texas in my ass. Yeah. That's what I was paying two fifty for. The other guy included one at four hundred. I said, No, nah, I ain't paying it now, I'm out at three hundred thousand miles on it. He was like, Yeah, you get it for two Yeah. It's a bet. Went out there, get the first load because it's tough to eat in the shop. It wasn't getting paid. So it was on leaving right there in, in Texas. But then they were like, oh, Melvin, Melvin, go ahead and take it to the shop or whatever or international. So I did that and uh, they were real good. The two years was in it and things like that. But like I said, I didn't care. I just needed the roll to make this money. That that didn't cause any concerns for, for you when you uh, was asked to go and recover somebody else's truck like when you got there they they didn't have a new international for you in the yard like they claim they do they got all sorts of billboards they got all sorts of flyers so they all they got like these pictures these these nice pictures of trucks that's like in a row and all like that those those not the trucks y'all getting y'all y'all not getting that y'all getting there Y'all getting oh, there. Time. Like I yeah, like I said, when I was on that orientation yard, they had a bunch of trucks. Had half of those trucks, all those trucks is damaged. They're no good. So they having their orientation people go recover. Nobody actually leave that yard with these those trucks is there but one in there. You wanna recover once you get tired or sick. Like for me, for example, I went to Texas. You had the other guy went to you had somebody go to Arkansas. They going to recover people or bands of trucks or that they can find them along. So happily, I went to recover this guy. They only had a picked up food. And uh, yeah, clean. whoever had that truck last, the clean. It was at I guess it was not clean. So when you got down there, do it look like it was clean? You you said it was clean. Oh, outside. Running to me, I've noticed that it was spider webs on the uh, mirror. That means the truck was sitting there for a minute. Right. To me, personally, it was spider web. Right. The doors, whoever the driver was, the plane was a little garbage in there, but it wasn't that bad. Feet wasn't going out. It was good to go. And still, you, you picked it up, dropped it in the shop, 
and nothing other nothing nothing other wise is 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 coming across your mind no no red flags no no bells ringing yet you, you pick up the truck you put it in the shop they get it all fixed up you ready to roll now what hello pick that up okay they don't even ask you do you want to run legal or unlegal ain't even going to no vaseline he ran out of town about to take it down take it down i look at my phone i got a reset first law Oh, the law was offered. Yeah, that was straight. Now, let me ask you this. Did you get some type of proof or some type of screenshot before, like a before and after type deal, or is this all afterwards? No, not the first time I didn't take screenshot. This is in of that first paycheck of 250 I started doing some digging around. And right. Reading. <laughs> so, yeah, with the night around and I was sleeping. That you got screenshots of of them all in the the law. So you got screenshots now of of a before and after, like a before and after. Forty afterwards, and that day, even taking a load out of Atlanta, Georgia, to see. But they get a ran out, right? So call it your number, which is law number, right? You need law. Oh, they you name them. Oh, oh, they don't they don't give you no 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 password or nothing like that. You just call up there and say it just like that, huh? Man, you're fresh and cool. That's long. Mm. I got broke it in the third floor. I've been calling in that for me fresh. Mm. Okay. So Melvin, Melvin, it, it sounds like you wanted to run. Let's just say if controversial company Super Eagle wasn't wasn't what they are. Would you want to continue running with them all mitting the laws? Because you have to accept that, bro. When you accept that, when you accept that, you accepting that. And when you get pulled over, you gonna have to accept the consequences that comes with it. If God forbid, if you ever was pulled over. But I'm just, cu- I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just curious to know that if controversial company wasn't controversial would you would it continue continue doing that because that seems like the only way that you guys can make some money there i mean i think all of could make some money going that if all the time you want i didn't notice that until i was about to lay down and go to sleep mm-hmm. and then i got a fall back that's the part up and say hey we just need press law right mm-hmm. that's what they can't accept mm-hmm. when they, they get you get money like you said when i started away you had no choice i was a way to know it they can get stuff when you can't move you. Mm. From Arizona, for example. So you just going your diligence trying to work on it because that's what I was doing. Mm. So it wasn't like if it was it was legal, will I still go on and do it? That's part of the job. That's real. That's they, the way they. Me. I that's 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 the way they made it. That that's the way they made it. They, they, the made, they made it. it. They made it like it's either our way or no way, pretty much. I don't get that. Yet. I watch normally your video for it and I was in that travel. So and it's like, my tank, you can't stay over. So you're not going to do it in June, okay? Somebody's standing there in Melbourne. So what happened back in June, bro? What, what happened back in June? Final straw uh, was a I only received two small patients. Keyword, I started in May 14th, 2024, to June 20, 2024. Two patients within that time, okay? The patient was like 400 or something, with that, but with that never I was on the low. In Chicago, that low needed to go to Nebraska. Nebraska, okay. You can put another tag frame on that low. Okay, so it, it had seven to 11. Last, most of these others is at 11 a.m. So I'm down the street from the ship. He left the, uh, the receiver left at 10.59 to go home. So the dispatcher, Bradley was his name, Super Ego AM, called me and said, Hey, Bill, you got to stay there and sleep on that load to Monday. I said, No, the hell I'm not. <laughs> Somebody better be there by by the time I get there because there is no use or owner operator waiting over no weekend so a shipper open up on Monday or receiver open up on Monday. We don't do that. Okay, this is back this is back in June, so we, we're not even talking about a holiday. Yeah. This this is just a regular Nah. Oh, okay. No regular day. I said, who the who the hell closed their office buildings or business I mean, come on, dude. Well, that's what you got to do. I said, like, hell, I, I'm not. I refuse. I can't make it. So I said, you know what? I went in love. Let me fill this deck up. I could run this all the way back to Atlanta. Truck and trail. That MS turned that fuel part off. I went back in there and played the game. 
I said, see, that's why I don't trust you. Mm-hmm. You go in there and start up a, a fuel pump. Well, you said you was leaving the cell. Boo, boo, boo. I want you to bring the Chicago. I will not because I don't get mm-hmm. All right, Melvin, do what you want. All right, I'm going to turn your uh, fuel card on. Just, just drop mm-hmm. it in a receiver, mm-hmm. and they'll pick it up on Saturday or whatever. All right, went up in love, fueled up, got my desk, diesel. Boom. I said, what? I'm going to leave this trailer here. Mm. And then I'm going to uh, dead head with the truck back to Atlanta. I said, yeah, let me do that because he might can have me set up and have some drivers out there to block me in while I'm asleep. You know, damn well FedEx people don't even open up on a Saturday. They don't load nothing. Okay? So that's why I picked that load up. Mm. I dropped the trailer in the grass. Waited till I got all the way home. I'm plugged with the bike, so you don't know where I'm mm. going to let you for that. The bike to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Parked it at my truck parking. He trucks here in Atlanta, Georgia, at my truck parking. He fell up in the grass. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they would not be paying for the mm-hmm. truck parking because he wasn't sure if they was going to send anybody out. Mm-hmm. He had DOT and police looking for the truck and trailer while I was traveling through the state, but they didn't know that I was just bothered. No oh, way. Mm-hmm. So uh, he asked somebody to call Loves up there. He asked trailer to take it to the ship for Monday, and then I went to the truck parking because I got my phone holder in the windshield. And I went in there, and that's how they And then when that link came out, so that I could get paid back Friday, you send me a receipt. Hey, the deposit has been looked at my account. I had the same amount of money in that I had. So I just rarely did this that to let them know. I said, yeah, that's some crazy stuff. How are you going to take my little, my little check? Because I left your truck and your trailer over there. I said, that's why I don't report you. I, I, when I was leaving, I was telling I said, I'm going to report you to the NPS. And then I stumbled across to the Eagles and I was talking to their lawyers and other lawyers and things like that. So it, the wheel's been in motion. So I said, you just wait on. I'm going to get my bag one way or another. You, you can't get over on me. Maybe them. I'm not like them. Let me get this straight, man. So you already knew of the okie doke. You, you knew that you wasn't even going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. So you you said to yourself, uh, let me go ahead and drop this trailer here. And let me go. Let, let me go ahead and just bobtail all the way back to Georgia. That's that's where you from. No, that's where I am. It is that. I'm from oh, New Jersey. So oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you, you bobtailed all the way. I hear you guys talking about unplugging the Jeep, yes. unplugging the, the system. How are you guys doing that? I mean, do they show you where it's at when y'all doing orientation? No, I've been driving in that too. So you meet people on a road I already know with a company for a long time. I just sit in the trainers and all the story and things like that. I mean, I know these so it's right there under the dashboard. Tom's going to hide under that little thick board with all the little wires. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm confused. I, I, I hear, I hear. Are you guys just about about eighty percent of the people that I talk to? They always tell me mm-hmm. that they, you know, they disconnect the system so that they won't be followed or be tracked. And they're in, you know, they able to drive or wherever they're going to drive to. I'm, I'm just curious to know how is you guys. Doing that, like, is there a plug? plug? About that ELD, is it probably a plug? Mine had a plug. It was connected alongside the dashboard, the ELD. Oh, okay. And I don't shut my truck off, so if you had that device, it'd be hard. I keep it in brakes, air brakes on, and keep it in drive like it's in practice. Now, I can't just walk out and in gas because they know I keep mine running. Oh, that's a that's a tip. You heard it. Yeah. Keep the running, keep it in uh, drive. Put the air brakes on and make sure your truck ain't moving. Keep it in drive and keep that air brake on and run it. Nobody could check it off. Mm. Yeah, that's what I did getting all the way back to Atlanta. And I hope you see this video because I'm coming for it. Well, Melvin, I, I was skeptical. You know, I'm I'm always skeptical of the people who I talk to man, because you know, some some people go over there just just for the content, man, and that's why I'm over here reading with you in the background, and I'm like, well, bro, all about this stuff, and and, and you just went over there just to jump on the the bandwagon of the lawsuit. Help me, help me understand that one. Well, but I appreciate you coming on and uh, sharing your story with us. And I would suggest you check your uh, your DAC report. I know a lot of people that I talk to says, oh, well, they don't put it on your DAC report. They don't re- they don't report it to your DAC report. Well, I, I, I don't know. They will. I don't know, but I, I just got a funny feeling that they will because I work for a black ops company. Mm-hmm. I get my DAC report every three months now. I'm, I'm just curious to know because recently I pulled my DAC report only to find out that the black ops company that I worked for about three or four years ago, put some bullshit on my back and i'm like that's 
that's not correct. And when the company called me up and said, hey, LaShawn, I go, what's up? Oh, man, I'm sorry to tell you. Unfortunately, we can't bring you on because the company said that you abandoned a truck. What? what? Abandoned what truck? So I go back to the company that I was talking to. And this this another thing, too. I, I don't understand why why companies want to be funny and try to hold information, trying to be gatekeepers. But I'm like, well, can you? Can you, because it's only a few companies that I drove for, and in every place that I left from, I left on good standing. I left on good satisfactory, and I had a couple of issues, but I'm still considered a rehire at those companies. So when she when she tells me, oh, like well, I don't know the company name and yada yada yada, I was like, oh, what? Cool, no problem. So I I told them I was like, that's all right. So that's why I pulled the DAC report, and I was able to see. The black ops company that was you know, that was doing that bullshit. So yeah, I, I suggest to everybody, everybody that's listening, and I've been saying this for years, man. Well, even though I I feel that the DAC report is garbage, I honestly do, but still pull it because some of these companies still use that as the Bible, and you need that to know that you can say your piece on the matter. So so yeah, so yeah. So we'll just leave it at that, man. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to piggyback on what you said. Why I say document everything. You have a problem with this company or this type of document everything for it. Like for myself, for example, if they was to put something on there, just making my loyalty claim a little within the government building. So like I said, I've been in contact with attorneys on the EE. I, I want to say this before we get on up out of here. I, I don't want to sound funny to you. I honestly hope everything works out for you guys, man. But I, I don't know. This this quote unquote lawsuit been going on for years, bro. Not, and controversial yeah. company Super Eagle and all of their affiliates look like they still going strong, bro. So I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I hope everything works out for you guys, man. But again, Melvin, man, I appreciate you coming on the channel and uh, sharing your uh, story with us, man. And uh, and I hope to hear back from you soon. Uh, hopefully uh, on a on a on a good note where you at. Definitely. Definitely. Appreciate you for accepting my call to bring you on. All right. I appreciate it. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.